Hi guys, my name is Anna Paisley and I'm a painter from Moscow, Russia and today I have a very special video for you uh, because I rarely do videos in English uh, because my main auditorium and followers on Instagram are Russian but uh, this came today and this is a package from Zen Art Supplies it's a really cool art supply store and today I just want to share with you this uh, unpackaging video they sent me uh, a little present and those are supposedly i think brushes and um, judging by the description a sketchbook which i'm pretty excited to open i've seen a couple reviews of other artists uh, on this uh, brushes and they're absolutely amazing so i'm very thrilled to uh, do this uh, live unpackaging for you guys so this is how it looks like when you open it oh my god look at this this is so pretty like i'm telling you guys i know how uh stores ship their art supplies and it's never and it's never wrapped with a ribbon <laughs> this is so amazing this is totally cute and look they even put it customized um, customized little note this is amazing I think it's totally lovely and look they even put a Russian little word here it's amazing thank you so much team Zenar Supplies this is amazing I love it and let's just without further ado and package this bad boys and I just let me tell you guys I just love the packaging I cannot stress this enough this is amazing so thoughtful let's see oh my god look Oh, this is totally beautiful. I love this. And this is such nice texture. It's really pleasant to the touch. I love the design. And it says it's a sketchbook, 160 pages, which is a lot. Ivory paper. Yeah, built in pocket. It's. Oh, look! Oh, this is so cute. This is amazing design. Seriously, so thoughtful. Look at this. I'm sorry, I can't focus. But literally, it just kind of copies the design of 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 the cover here and it's amazing it's so beautiful let's see what's inside and it's really pleasant to the touch really pleasant when you open it it looks like this and it's like very very good quality paper it's gonna be it's very how should i say it's smooth it's gonna be perfect for example for color pencils which i love i'm not sure if this is going to do for watercolors but i know artists that actually work with watercolors on paper like this but this is going to be amazing for color pencils which i'm so happy about and this is like a little pocket where you can keep i don't know whatever maybe your notes or something and there's two bookmarks which is very handy as well i love bookmarks and seriously i love this i wasn't expecting a sketchbook i was only expecting um brushes so this is a very <laughs> sweet surprise thank you so much definitely going to use this as a traveler in my traveling kit and this is beautiful oh my god it even comes, comes with a little little uh, pocket for the brushes look at this oh my god this is beautiful oh wow this is lovely okay let's not be in a hurry and just see what's in here oh it's a co-founder of zenar supplies look at this such a lovely lady thank you so much for sending me this art supplies and a little note i think this is awesome this is such a personal touch. I think it's a, it's a very nice touch. And this tells us a little bit about about the brushes, right? So this is brushes for oils, but I'm pretty sure you can use this for acrylics as well. I tend to use bristles uh, for acrylics. And this is Badger Mix and Chunking Hog Brushes. Set of 13, one palette knife. There it is and yeah it's uh, named obviously after the great painter and this is what we have here uh, so the the brush is obviously uh, 13 pieces and there's like literally 
tons of different shapes. I was really wanting the fan brush lately for applying the, it's really good for finish, finishing varnish. So I really wanted to get that. And also this, the flat ones and the filbert, this one is amazing. I tend to use this a lot and you can even see it. It's in my, it's in my working set right now. I love this for, oh, sorry, that's a piece of acrylic. I love this for oils as well as the um, acrylic. So this is amazing. And we're gonna get to this in a minute. And yeah, white flat, can't get enough of those. Detail, always need that. I mean, basically every brush in this set is awesome and definitely gonna use this. And also it says uh, how to take care of the brushes, which is pretty important, guys, because brushes are expensive. And obviously we cannot get enough of the brushes, but it's also important to take care of them because they go out of shape pretty quickly if you don't. So this is, uh, a really nice note and obviously like every painter who is uh, uh, already painting <laughs> for quite some time knows this but this is a very good reminder and yeah there's a little word about the philosophy which is pretty cool art can change the world with a single brush stroke I totally agree and yes it just says it's not natural hair art brushes which is guys expensive usually so I'm pretty happy with the set. It looks like this. And now I'm gonna just unfold every brush. I am, uh, I do want to kind of mix this impaction video with later, I'm gonna film a video about how these brushes are working. And also I'm gonna record a little sort of uh, lesson using these brushes, maybe with oils or acrylics so you can see how to actually use this. Uh, in in your work, can't find where to open. So I'll have to open this now. Sorry, wait a second. Aren't you excited to open new art supplies? I'm always so excited. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. Okay, guys, seriously, this is a quality brush right here. Okay, so I love this kind of uh, bristles. Right, this is how you call them, bristles. But they also tend to be really, uh, how to say it, really messy. Do you see this? N well, I mean, it kind of uh, counts if the brush is expensive or not. This was really inexpensive brush. This was medium brush. This one's actually pretty good. But also what's uh, not good uh, usually about these brushes of low quality is that the bristles are very firm. Like they're not bendy enough or they get firm with time. So this is amazing. This is going to be really good to work to cover a large amounts of space on, on the big canvases. And this is amazing. And I only, I really love this shape, which again, you call, let's be professionals, filbert. See, it's favored by many oil artists. Perfect for blending, I, and I agree. And I only have two brushes in the shape, and I was really lacking the big one, which I now have. I love how long the handle is, and it's beautiful color. And look at this design, it's amazing. It's so light in the hand. It's really nice to touch. It's so important, you guys, when you, like this is something you hold in your hand for a long period of time. You want it to be nice. Okay, let's get forward with these. Yes, yeah, so this is a fan brush that I really wanted for the varnish. Supposedly, it's really good for varnishing because it's spreading the the varnish really easily, but also is very easy to clean because it is thin, right? It covers a lot of space, but it is thin, so it doesn't hold up a lot of varnish, which is really important because that tends to happen with sorry for my camera, that tends to happen with the brushes that are like this. Yeah. Oh, this one even comes like this beautiful. And it comes in a little case like this, which is super cute. I actually do not yet own a flat brush with this type of bristles, only synthetic. That is my choice, but I'm sure this is magical for blending which i'm going to do with it okay so yeah 
Well, we have here, obviously, a fan brush, a flat brush. This is, well, figured about this one. This is a flat brush, which is always something I need. This is quite worn already, as you can tell. It was my first ever, like, set of brushes, so I didn't take uh, good care of it. So this is what happened to it. This is not going to happen to this brush. Quite an amazing set, I must say. And obviously an artist is always in lack of brushes, no matter how many brushes they have. And I can always use a beautiful, beautiful palette knife. Just look at that handle. It's so, so light. It's so easy to work. I love how like round of a shape it is because usually my palette knives are like this shape is more usual what I find in the stores and to be honest these are not as easy to work because this is just so easy to manipulate you can just like round it up especially if you like to work with you know just uh, blocking out big shapes of color with this for example for abstracts or something this is amazing I find it very good quality and it's very light as well. This one is so heavy and this one is almost weightless in, in my hand. Then goes the set. Obviously I'm going to take all of them out. And this compared to this is much softer bristle. Okay, this is, I think this is supposed to be hog brushes. This is a hog, right? Yeah, chunky hog. And these, these are a mix, a badger mix, and you can feel right away, it's very soft. This is really nice for just, you know, laying the color on. This is very good for blending. Uh, this type of brushes, the natural hair and soft like this is good for mixed media. For example, if you're mixing watercolors in your abstracts, right? This takes up a lot of water and holds it in. And I just love long handles for my studio brushes. This is always my pick for the studio brushes okay so what do we have here guys okay so this is how it looks like we have this angled brushes which are really cool we have this flat brush again and i love how this are different totally different from this set because because this is like a complete set of totally different brushes right in every way and it's like this shape might be the same like the filter shape like this one but still different size and it's awesome i still love the angled brushes because they give this very sleek stroke that you can always use in your work and obviously flat brush is a classic i must say lately i've been really really in love with round brushes as well i've been using them quite a lot in my work as you can see, they get <laughs> really fluffy, but this is seriously like the length and the shape that I like. And usually always, always you need something very thin, if not to create details, at least to sign your name. Literally, I think this uh, set of brushes is gorgeous. I was waiting for it impatiently and it is totally amazing. I can't wait to use this, guys. I can't wait to record a video for you. So uh, this will be coming shortly. If you're asking yourself if you should purchase these brushes, I would say definitely because this is uh, a very luscious set. Thank you so much, Zenart Supplies. I will leave, obviously, the link below in the description box if you want to just check out the awesome materials that they're selling and this amazing set of brushes i can't wait to use this and please subscribe to my channel to not miss out on the free tutorial that i'm going to be giving with this brushes and you can see how easily you can use them in your work with acrylics thank you so much for watching this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my instagram because this is where I post a lot of my artwork. Uh, all of the posts I publish are also in English as well as in Russian. So you can always relate to whatever I'm posting and writing. Have a good luck creating something awesome. Bye!